Hello, Mr. Brown here, your science teacher. Today, let's get creepy and crawly and explore the science of bugs. Now, to start with, I'm not going to be talking about bacteria and viruses in this video. Let's save that for another time. Today is all about bugs. And the term bugs just isn't clear enough. Like, what do you all got there on that sandwich? We need to get a little bit more sciency about it. And what I think we're going to do is we'll focus on how many legs do you have. That's how we, how we will approach this topic. All right, so let's start with zero legs. Now, if you have zero legs, you must be an earthworm, right? No, actually, that's not an earthworm. That is a tapeworm in its own phylum, Platyhelminthes. Okay. All right, I see some worms crawling out of there. These must be earthworms. No, these are roundworms that have their own phylum called Nematoda. Wow, complex. All right, this guy, no legs, earthworm. No, that, that's not an earthworm. That's a slug, which belongs to its own phylum, phylum mollusca. And there's a slug right there. All right. This is getting confusing. All right, well, what about these delightful, happy little maggots? Are they in the earthworm family? Come on. No, actually. Maggots are simply just juvenile flies from the insects. Uh, all right, earthworm. Wait, this guy has bones. That is, that's just a baby snake. Snakes are reptiles. How about these guys? No legs. These are not earthworms, and they're not snakes either. These are Sicilians, which are amphibians. Okay, come on. Earthworms, right? Yes, finally. We, these are earthworms, and they belong to their own phylum called Annelida, which also includes blood-sucking leeches. All right, so we've gone over all these different things that have no legs. Let's get into something that has legs, and that is insects. Insects are known for having six legs. They also have three body parts, a head, a thorax, and an abdomen. All six legs attach to the thorax. All right, here's a good example, a honeybee. How do I know it's an insect? Well, it's separated it into a head, a thorax, and an abdomen, and it has six legs. Bzz, bzz. Okay, enough of that. Insects make up most of the living things on this planet. This whole bottom part of the pyramid is all insects. Why is this child trying to sell me a giant? Where are your parents? Who takes these photographs? That's a child. Don't, what kind of parenting is? All right, anyway, these are some really big bugs, right? Here we see a giant walking stick. This guy is showing off. So bugs can get pretty big. Okay. Now, these things coming off the top of their head, those aren't legs. Those are antenna. Look at that beautiful little smile that guy's got there. And the antenna are attached to the head. The thorax has six legs and sometimes has wings, as seen here in this dragonfly. And this is just simply a cute praying mantis. Look at that little guy. All right, so insects have six legs. Let's crank it up to eight legs, and we are in the spider family. Now, spiders and insects do have some similarities. They both belong to phylum arthropoda. They have jointed appendages, segmented bodies, external crunchy skeletons, but that's where the similarities end. Spiders are very different, and they have eight legs. Spiders have two main body parts the big old abdomen, and the central cephalothorax. That's where all the legs attach, is to the cephalothorax. 
Here we can see a typical body plan of a spider with its two sections. And I'm seeing poison gland and silk gland. These are some specializations that the insects don't have. Speaking of silk, have you ever seen the science of a spider web? That's kind of cool and interesting. I only have eyes for you, my darling. Let me give you a big kiss on the lips. Wait, those aren't lips. Those are chilichere, otherwise known as killing weapons. That's what? That's because almost all spiders are killers. They are predatory hunters. I say almost all spiders because some of them want to be dancers. You follow your dreams, young guy. Someday you'll be a dancer. Anyway, spiders, also known as arachnids, have been around a long time, and they have branched out into all kinds of different species and shapes and sizes, including ticks. These little mini guys are bloodsuckers. You can see that tick right there has just finished having a nice meal. Another part of their family are the scorpions. Scorpions are interesting because they will glow under ultraviolet light. Not you 1980s band, the scorpions, get out of here. I'm talking about, this is a wonderful family picture of a mama scorpion and her babies. You know, it just doesn't get any more adorable than this. Crabs and crustaceans, they want to join in the fun. They have 10 legs, but you guys aren't considered bugs, right? Although the coconut crab, you are creepy enough to be in this slideshow, so I'll let it slide. So today we've talked about insects with their six legs, spiders, arachnids, and other chelicerates with their eight legs. Crustaceans jumped in with their 10 legs. Now I want to take it up to the next level. We're getting into myriapods. Myriapod means many legs. And this group is very complex. And I don't have time to go over all of these things. Let's break it into two main groups. You got your millipedes and your centipedes. The term centa means 100 shows up in the word century, but they don't have a hundred legs. Some of them do, but not all of them. Mila means thousand, shows up in the word millennium, but millipedes don't have a thousand legs. So that is a little bit of a, is a something messed up there. But anyway, let's look closer at centipedes. Many different species of centipedes with legs, going anywhere from 15 pairs up to 177 pairs. That is an adorable centipede. Here we see a common house centipede. Wait, did I just say common house? Meaning this is commonly found in your house? Yeah, at this very moment, there is probably a centipede somewhere in your house. But that's okay, because if you find one, they just have more legs to hug you with. So give them a big old hug. Come here, little guy. Millipedes are the kings of having legs. The biggest number of legs that I found on the internet was 750 legs in a millipede. And here we see this guy playing with a really dangerous millipede. Thank you for joining me today in the creepy crawly world of the science of bugs. I'll see you next time. All right. Bye-bye.